Marvel's What If featuring Party Thor, a character we saw very early on when it came to the advertising for What If. Well, the episode is finally with us. So of course, without spoilers, I'm going to get into this, and this is definitely one of those episodes that I think could go either way just like the last one. Although this one is definitely not as safe, I would argue. So let's get to it. So I think it's pretty safe to say that two of the weakest episodes so far of Marvel's What If were the first one and the last episode, which of course was the sixth one. The one that featured Killmonger and Iron Man in the first episode with Agent Carter were the weakest and really played it the safest to the largest degree. This episode, I don't think falls in line with that entirely, although there is a small element of that in here. But again, what they're playing with here is very interesting. And there is a different approach to this Thor and pretty much everything that happens before he gets to Earth, why he's here, and the story that's told with him on Earth. And I do honestly think it's very interesting and a good, more unsafe look into a different version of Thor that doesn't really straddle the line of a slight let's just sidestep and do what episode six and episode one did and for that i do appreciate it a whole lot now at the same time i will say there's definitely a few elements where i was like oh that's well okay i guess i could have seen that coming or yeah somebody could have predicted this and it's one of those things where it really had to be made this way by the nature and the story that they're going after because again they are trying to stay familiar and take a part of the story that deviates slightly and then goes off in a radically different direction. And I think what worked for me here was the way that Thor was portrayed. And you'll find out what I mean when you see the episode, but the Thor here seems like he definitely is a version of Thor that doesn't necessarily grow up the same way. Again, there's a pretty heavy spoiler that I have to avoid here, but you'll understand what I'm saying here. And you see how that kind of uh, ties in with this Thor being the way he is and why he is the way he is and why he's called the Party Thor and why the way that he's presented on this screen is something more in line with what I think people hate about Thor Ragnarok with the whole humor thing. But here it feels more in line with that type of delivery instead of the radical tonal shift whiplash that we almost got with the Thor franchise between the films. Again, without heavy spoilers, I don't really want to go into it here, but there's a lot in this episode that I think works, and there's a couple things that don't. And we'll talk about this more in the spoilers and obviously the audio commentary, which will be coming to members really soon, and I really can't wait to get into it because I think this episode... It's going to be one of those that goes both ways and has a lot of discussion on the implications on this multiverse. 